Hello everybody! This video will show you how to block any application or program on the computer. Blocking programs from running can sometimes be very useful. For example, you can prevent users from starting potentially dangerous unwanted or entertainment software, a computer game, a messenger, a video chat or any other application. I will show you two ways of doing it – with the use of Local Group Policy Editor or with the Registry Editor if you have Windows Home Edition. Here we go! Dear friends, if you need to recover deleted data, use Utilities by Hetman Software. Follow the link in the description to visit our website, download a utility for free and install it. Then start disk analysis. When the process is over, it will show the files available for recovery, and you will be able to bring them back. Our blog features quick guides to solve all kinds of problems faced by Windows users. Our channel and blog offer solutions for any issues, from installing the operating system to remote administration and connecting mobile devices. Our specialists will be glad to answer your questions in comments to videos and articles. One of the differences between Windows Home and Pro or Enterprise versions is the absence of the Group Policy Editor. That is why most of the fine-tuning work in Windows Home editions cannot use the convenient graphical interface of gpedit.msc, but has to use the Registry Editor instead. This way is not so visualized, and it's riskier, with the growing chances to get something wrong in your operating system. Now, to block an application or program, or program from starting on your PC with the Registry Editor, open it. To do it, press Windows R. In the window that appears, enter the command regedit. You can visit our channel and watch the detailed video about the run tool, how to start it and its main commands. Find the link to the video in the description. In the Registry Editor, go to the folder HK. Current User, Software, Microsoft, Windows, Current Version, Policies, Explorer. I will give the path in the description. Select Create DWORD 32-bit value and name it Disallow Run. Open it and set its value data at 1. After that, right-click on the folder Explorer and create a new key named Disallow Run. Go there and create a string value named 1. Open it. In the line value, enter the name of the exact file of the program or application which you want to block. For example, if I want to prevent command prompt from starting, I will enter cmd.exe. Uh, if I want to block Google Chrome, I will go to the folder where the browser is installed and find the name of its executable file. As you can see, it's chrome.exe. Alright, then I will create one more string value named 2 and having the value data chrome.exe and so on. The number of programs you can block is unlimited. You can even block them all. Restart the computer for the blocking settings to take effect. Now let's try to run command prompt. And Google Chrome. As you can see, they are blocked. Visit our channel to watch a video about the command prompt, how to open it, and most frequently used commands for this tool. You will find the link in the description. To cancel the blocking, go to the values you created in the Registry Editor and delete them. Don't forget to restart your PC after that. It's even easier to block a program using the Local Group Policy Editor. To do it, open it. Press, uh, to do it, uh, press Windows R. In the window that opens, enter the command gpedit.msc. In the Local Group Policy Editor, go to User Configuration, Administrative Templates, All Settings and find the setting named Don't run specified Windows applications. Uh, 
Double click on it. Turn it on by checking the Enabled option. In the Options window you can see a list of disallowed applications. Click on Show. It's empty. Click on the value field and, as in the case with the registry editor, enter the name of the .exe file of the program or application which you want to block. Again, it can be any application. For example, registry editor. To do it, enter regedit.exe or uTorrent. By the way, if you can't find the executable file of the program, as not all of them can be found in the program's file Program Files folder, you can do the following. Enter the name of the program in the search field. Visit our channel to watch a video about Windows Search, its functions and features. You can watch it by following the link in the description. Now right-click on the shortcut you are shown and select Open File Location. Then right-click on the program shortcut and select File Location or Properties – File Location and Windows will open the folder containing the executable file. As we can see, in this case it is uTorrent.exe. Enter it into the local group policy editor. OK. Apply. No need to restart your PC. Now let's try to run register editor and uTorrent. As you can see, they are blocked. To cancel the blocking, go back to the Enabled policy value and turn it off by checking the Disabled or Not Configured option. As a result, all blockings will be removed. This is all for now. I'm sure this information will be useful for you. So hit the like button and subscribe to Hetman Software channel. Thank you for watching and good luck!